so if we look at the tail of the tape, the Polish fighter, the younger man, equal height. And look at those records, four and zero for Frankowitz, three and one for Grundy. Four fights each, only one loss between them. On paper, this is a cracking matchup. And let's go to Buddy Johnson to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, we get ready for three five-minute rounds in the professional lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle wrestler. He stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 154.4 pounds. A flawless record of four wins, zero losses, and zero draws. Three of those wins by submission. Representing Artis Sport Maloka from Sosnovic, Poland, the delivery man. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler standing five feet eight inches tall and weighting at 155.4 pounds. A record of three wins, one loss, and zero draws. Three of those wins also by submission. And representing Team Kaiban from Wigan, England, Mike Grundy. <laughs> So for me, Chris, this is all about how Mike Grundy comes back from that first defeat of his career, and he's not been given an easy opportunity to come back against Damien Frankowitz, who loves to be the man that upsets the odds. And Damien was playing mind games right away there during Buddy's announcements, actually telegraphing a shot and sort of winking at him, saying, who's going to go first? But it's Grundy who does so. Wow. What a bull rush of a takedown from Grundy. And look how huge he looks on top, Malcolm. I mean, He's a wrestler. This guy's been making weight all of his life and comes in here just gigantic at this weight. And it wasn't unexpected, was it, Chris? He, he's had success until the last bout, which, were, which was, we all know, was at, at Bama 19 with his first loss. But it's a technique that's worked for him. There's no need to change it just because once it didn't work. And he's going to look to take the fight to where he feels he's going to feel an advantage, where he feels his opponent, more importantly, is weakest. And Grunny in top position, no surprise, but want to watch out for that guard. Damien looking for a triangle, but shrugged off by Grundy with a pass. Beautiful stuff. And uses the cage to pressure his opponent in doing so. And as you said, all the time he's there, Damien has to take that weight. Damien trying to work in his butterflies. One butterfly, two butterflies, open guard. Trying to make something happen. He's turned away from the cage, which is a lot better for him. Now he can obviously move his hips and stay a bit more active. But Grundy is furious. Yes, he looked to posture up just for a moment, then went straight back to his game plan. Postures up again, looking to come down. But Damien very good defensively off his back here as well, Chris. Yeah, Damien's got a great training regime. You know, he's got a lot of specialist coaches, guys in boxing, Muay Thai, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, obviously, as you're seeing here. But he's coming here on short notice to take on a behemoth and Mike Grundy. Yeah, Team Kerbon once again, who we rate very highly. And Grundy starting to lay it down now every opportunity when he postures up, Chris. And Damien, you know, he was telling us before and talking a lot to the press, he said, look, I cannot wait to be there. This is my time. I'm happy to play the villain. I will take advantage. And he's doing a good job of mitigating most of the damage so far from Grundy. Yes. Um, but what I wonder, across three five-minute rounds, you talk about Grundy being, it's, it's an art, isn't it, being big at the weight and still making the weight. Explain that, Chris. Well, Grundy obviously is in a position where he's going to have to deplete water. And more importantly, doing it not long before weighing in. That dehydrates you. That obviously taxes your body. He has that down to a science. These wrestlers are fighting sometimes every week, several times a week. They've got to be able to stay on weight and calculate that cut down to a T. Yes, and as you said at the moment, he's in dominating mode throughout the first half of this round. Doing a good job there and finally passing Damien's guard. You know, it took him three minutes to do that, but he's possibly looking to secure Crucifix. Damien doing a good job of framing up that right arm on his hip. What about the impact of this constant pressure on Damien as well? Like I said, it's taxing, you know, going back to the point about being able to cut weight and stay heavy. He's performing, and we'll have to see if this goes the full round here and assess whether or not Damien is faded. But Grundy looking for that textbook choke attack. 
it's something he, he it'll be a second nature it'll be instinctive to him won't it chris the amount he will have drilled this i'm telling you that guy is so dangerous from the front headlock position he is a real artist in the way he locks those positions up but he's being very careful and meticulous in doing this good scramble by damien out the back door oh but a big slam again from grundy is it to say no way son grundy just with blistering control and the way he uses leverage there to actually flip him back over onto his back. I'm so impressed with Grundy. Look at that knee slice right over there, coming on in. Probably gonna look to take full mount here. He's tapped! Oh, he's tapped! Wow, I didn't even see that set up. That was an arm triangle and he set that up with that knee on belly sliding over. I didn't even see that, Malcolm. Chris, it's not often you're shot by so much technique or caught out, but that seems to catch you totally unawares, and that is a rare occurrence. Totally unsuspecting. I mean, if you look at the way he was working on the head early, I was thinking it was going to be a guillotine choker, possibly his signature Darce. But obviously, after that initial scramble, he dumped Damien right onto his back. And then the finish. Damien was on the phone hardcore trying to prevent that tap, but Grundy actually moved his head over near the cage. That's like one of the toughest spots to finish that. Man, that guy is a beast. And he's right back on form against a very dangerous, unbeaten opponent. Mike Grundy is back, and you really feel if he can keep make, making this way, he's going to be a monster in this division, Chris. As I said, just the perfect example of a wrestler turned MMA artist, Damian Grundy has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest ended three minutes, 59 seconds of the first round. Your winner, due to head and arm choke, in the blue red corner.